everyone welcome back to my channel so this is absolutely not my work <laughs> this is today's inspiration from shelly's nails on instagram so please follow her i want to thank her for the inspiration we're taking a lot from this set today so we have it pulled out this is my mom's set um but i have it pulled out on her phone and we're using this as a reference for the colors so you can see i'll put the colors that i mixed together to get these looks this one i added a little bit of neon yellow as well and that totally taffy to get that color so i'm mixing um these colors with the buttercreams i'm using the buttercreams specifically because i think they mix so very well together and then also if you're not familiar with the buttercreams you can kind of play with the consistency of them the more you stir them the more they loosen up and it makes them definitely a little bit easier to work with when you're doing drawn artwork and line work like i'll be doing today now you can see i use the daughter tool to mix these Please, please, please know on the Light Elegance website, there are some tools that are better um, mixing tool um, in order to do this job or whatever, you know, tool you like to use. Um, but these, this is my palette and we're ready for our art. Now I use Light Elegance Tat, Cashmere Extreme, the Shaper Bit, and I cleanse the nails with Pro Cleanser. I use the Light Elegance Lamp. We use the Profiles. Um, we, we use a lot of LE to get here. But this artwork was kind of so extensive, I didn't capture the beginning. Um, but we used the Buffy bit, the itty bitty for prep and everything. So I'm starting off kind of with these indicator lines using just white and my stripey, the Selena Ride In stripey brush. And you can see I'm comparing these lines. I flipped the hand over to make sure they were as straight as possible. And then I'm matching left hand to right hand to make sure the nails look like, you know, sisters I always say sisters not distant cousins next door neighbors want to make them look similar as possible so i'm starting in with that first color that yellow and that initial white line is going to be kind of our guideline we're going to go back in and outline this kind of half french situation with the white so again that white line is our guideline and i use white because of course it's we're going to outline it in white but then it won't show up and kind of you know mess with our kind of pastel -y there's like a between you know kind of springy tones and summery tones hence we kind of mix some kind of of the new um le spring colors with some brighter colors to kind of get those mid-tones between super bright and super pale you know eastery colors so i'm just going in and i'm curing in between each color you guys and this is just repetitive i'm trying to get the lines similarly sized um and then I'll go in like in this one, you can see I'm feeling that purple, but I feel that blue line is a little bit too thick. So I'm going to take that purple and kind of eat up some of that blue line, um, if you will, to kind of make that blue line look a little bit thinner. And at some point I'll go in and kind of, I felt like that initial yellow line was a little too thin. So I'm not sure if I caught it on camera, but I go in and kind of thicken that up to make the lines again look as proportion as possible. So we're going in, the lines are gonna be in similar order as the picture, again, this is a lot of direct inspiration. Sometimes we take inspiration and switch up colors and all different things. And sometimes we leave certain things the same. So in this set, we left a lot of it the same. I like the way the pattern of colors were. I think that really made it stand out. So I really wanted to leave them how it was. My mother <laughs> um, didn't think like our greenish color and our bluish color or different enough and they were fairly similar but i feel like they were pretty similar on the picture but it should, we both liked how this set came out so as promised we're going in and doing an outline of that just white buttercream with that stripey brush and we're outlining this little half french i really really love the stripey brush to do this job it was thin enough for me to get these longer lines like this curve here um, nice and clean um, and those vertical lines nice and straight, but it wasn't too very thin in order to kind of fill in those straight vertical lines with those colors. So I'm just repeating this and you can see with that white line, I'm going a little ab above those colors. You see that tip right up there? We're going a little bit higher again because this is a border so we can meet up that piece and swing it and bring it around. And I think Cashmere Extreme is such a wonderful base color for like 
any type of French work or any artwork at all that you want to leave like a nude neutral base cashmere extreme is absolutely fantastic for this on a variety of skin tones I absolutely love this color for that reason so now we're going to go in with these flowers and flowers I want to tell you guys are, is one of the hardest things for me um as far as like yeah <laughs> it is so I'm using the daughter tool and I'm going in and starting with the you know the tips of these flowers the main points and my mother this is a very simple thing and I feel kind of slow um because you can see this last dot I didn't like where that went um and so I mean I can see things that I want to improve always but with these flowers what helped me was my mother to kind of told me to think of it as points on the clock. So if you see the flower and you can see where, you know, those points are, if you were to imagine it a clock, if you will, um, then that'll kind of help you space them out because that's one of, it's not like the petals themselves are hard to draw. You can see they're like a teardrop shape. They go from wider down to thinner. So that in itself is not very difficult. It's the proportions, the distance, that rotation to you know get it looking how it needs to look now one thing that we did change in this set from the inspiration is the color of the little half flower um, it was the same color on each nail of the inspiration set and we decided to change that to make each one a different color of our you know little lines and especially because like I had so much color like okay so I did not like that <laughs> I didn't like the distance and proportion of the flower this was kind of a little bit before I thought of it in terms of the clock and time. Please, you know, do that. Again, it seems so simplistic, at least for me. I was like, mm, duh. Um, but if you can kind of see your flower, depending on how many petals it has, you can kind of see, okay, if this is at noon, this is like 1130, 9, 736. You know what I mean? Um, so think about it like that. Have you a nice middle point? Um, there are templates and guidelines, like little stamper flower guidelines and things like that. So there's different tools and tricks to use. And you, you, you probably already know, I have been very intimidated by flowers. And I let, you know, the lack of getting into little, you know, details and tips and tricks like that get in my way. Don't let anything stop you guys. That's the lesson here. <laughs> so this little feature nail has a variety of small flowers. And this nail intimidated me the absolute most because it's not just little half flowers. We have some whole flowers here. So we started with the middle point. And for the sake of my sanity, I had to go with a little bit of more direct inspiration from um, the initial set as far as where the flowers were laid out. Um, because I was like, how am I going to do this? <laughs> So, again, with our little clock <laughs> idea in mind, it was 12, 2, 5, 7, 10. You know? That feels about, yeah, 12, 2, 5, 7, 10 were our times here. You see what I mean? We got straight up 12, over there 2, about 2, about 2 30, <laughs> 5, and about 7 30 and 10 <laughs> um and so I just added those dots there and then the rest you know it's just me pulling it into the center making it thin and just rounding it out it's kind of how we do drips at that point you just take that bulbous end and you kind of taper it in so again I just put those middle dots to start with and then I'm going in and you know some of these are easier because they're partial um and I'm using the swirly brush to kind of pull in these flowers and going with that small detail, that daughter tool. And I took the stylus was the very small one you see me do the white dot in the center with. Um, the stylus from Light Elegance, it's, it's a tool that I use very often. Very, very often. You, you wouldn't even think. Um, but I do um, for like, even like building nails. Um, when I extend them, I like to use it with fiber. I like to use it with different artwork, especially abstract animal artwork small dots and things like that so i'm taking the number three this is the bigger daughter tool and i'm going in adding that white dot just straight in the center of those flowers and then we're on to bling so i'm using the light elegance nail glue i'm adding these crystals um nice high grade glass crystals 
and um, I'm just gonna pop these kind of randomly here. This is where um, in the inspiration she had those gold um, kind of studs. So I just added crystals and then I'm going in with fiber um, and I'm using fiber um, to add the little gold beads and you can get these gold beads you know from a variety of you know high quality nail supply places and things of that sort um and the fiber is going to hold these beads really really well um make sure they are kind of locked in and not moving after you get those beads uh, make sure you fan out that fiber so there's no lumps and bumps um and i am again using that number one that stylist that smallest one to put my beads as well so um once we get that cured and locked in, you're going to top coat still around those crystals and top coat um, with your favorite top coat. You can do the shiny matte. I chose matte. You go around with a shiny top coat, um, like um, top gloss or um, super shiny, and then go in um, with flat matte. Cure that. Boom. This is your final result, you guys. I hope you like this concept. I'd love to see this trend. I mean, it's not my set to say I love, um, but this translate into like summer colors as well. Like bright neons with these colors would be absolutely amazing. I really appreciate you guys for watching. Put a flower emoji down below. If you love this set, please tag me. If you like are using inspiration from this set or found some techniques in this set that you are looking forward to using. I really want to thank you guys for watching. Have a beautiful nail day, guys. <laughs> Bye.